South Africans hope the State of the Nation address will provide a blueprint for the country's recovery. COVID-19 has hit the economy hard. And President Cyril Ramaphosa will deliver the address tonight. ENCA reporter Aisha Ismail is speaking to key players ahead of this speech tonight. Aisha, good morning to you. A uh, colleague, we've heard from the chief whip of the ANC before, Pemi Majordina. But right now I understand that you do have the Speaker of Parliament, Tandi Mulisa, with you. What does she have to say? That is indeed so. I'm going to be speaking to Tandi Modise right now. She does have to rush off to go to another appointment. Tandi Modise is going to talk to us about the program tonight. And as you pointed out, um, the president um, will be speaking um, at um, 7 o'clock this evening. Certainly you know, under different and difficult circumstances, even here at Parliament, it appears to be quite a, a low-key event. We don't see the parliamentary staff running around, rushing, trying to get things sorted for what has become quite a, a grand event over the years. Um, but I'm going to speak to Tandi Modisa just to talk to us about the programme for tonight, ma'am. People are looking to the President for answers. Good morning. Good morning to your listeners. We do hope that the program as planned will go. The president will address the nation. And remember that when the president addresses the nation, he brings together the three arms of state. He brings together the international community. He talks not only as the head of the executive, but as the head of almost every arm and entity of this country. We're expecting that he will focus on soothing the rough emotions of loss. Loss because COVID is killing people. We will hope that he will take us through on the plans of what he and the executive intend to do across the three spheres of, 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 of governance. We will expect him to tell us that our economy is still breathing because the ties with the international communities and bodies are still okay. We are hoping that what will be paramount will be the health of the nation, the wealth of the nation, the calmness that those two will drive us through. We are hoping that the president will, will be able to start and finish his speech in, in peace. We are hoping that the message will reach every South African, that we will sit there and everybody will take consolation, encouragement from what he is doing. We are hoping that, of course, in the course of the debate next week, issues about the vaccine rollout, the types of vaccines that we are buying for the country, will also come in. So generally, we want to see South Africa getting together, huddling together, understanding that things are not easy, but that things could be worse, but that we still have one another. Each party, different, different focus, different manifesto, different ideology, but common thing, all South Africans looking for the same thing, calm, good health and peace. Now, we also know that ahead of the president's um, address this evening, there will be a candlelight ceremony yes we the presiding officers we took the decision to in the smallest way we can do to remember that this is a year unusual a sauna unusual that south africa has lost more than 46,000 people that we are still losing people that amongst those people are those who were wealthy, those who were not known, those who were community leaders, those who were members of this house and staff members of this house, we have lost South Africans. We have lost people who came and to stay amongst us. So we would want to see us as a country acknowledging our losses, dedicating ourselves to doing everything to bring down the spread of the corona, to take precautions to make sure that we don't lose everybody. Ma'am, you're talking about the health and the wealth of the country, you're talking about healing, and you're also talking about bringing down the spread of COVID-19. But 
ordinary South Africans are also talking about the level of corruption in South Africa. This pandemic has also shown how compassionate South Africans can be as a nation. But it has also it has brought out the worst in us and the best in us. How are we going to deal with corruption effectively? It has brought the, be the best amongst us. You have had beautiful pictures of women, of organizations who take what they have, are not looking to government, and are giving, making sure orphans are eaten, old people are looked after, whatever they can. And we want to say thank you very much to those great South Africans. It has also brought out the devils amongst ourselves. For those we are hoping, they will be caught, they will go to jail, they will not be shown any mercy. Because, simply because we don't talk every day about them, does not mean they've got sympathy or any good feelings that we have towards them. Those who are doing corruption must face the wrath of the law, full stop. Thank you so much for your time, ma'am. Thank you. That was the um, Speaker of the National Assembly, Tandi Modise, speaking ahead of the State of the Nation address that will take place this evening.